government is here that's why we are here and that's why we are, we are here to understand what has happened what we need to be what needs to be done and of course we're going to look in, internally inside the city for accountability of whether indeed it was truly the negligence of the city or it was the people really not heeding to the call of the city to do the right thing we are busy with civic education now building world-class african citizens when we want a world-class african city it doesn't only talk to infrastructure having the best of buildings the roads etc it talks about the behavior of the citizens that we have it clearly tells us that we don't have world-class african citizens that heed to the law that understand the bylaws that really work with government to build a working government with proper housing and structure etc i'm not condoning government that we may be slow sometimes in allocating houses in some of our processes but that's not a reason to be uh, lawless because things like this sometimes happen where tragedy that could have been prevented i think would happen because the citizens are not willing to understand and, and, and work with us in upholding the laws and the bylaws of the city, in understanding what is safe, what is not safe. We have to really instill this world-class African citizen behavior in all of us, how we conduct ourselves. What is your message for um, Before I let you go, um, a hijacked building. What is the city doing about dealing with the hijacked building yeah. and the so-called cartels and companies that are responsible for, for the situation like this? I'm sure you saw at some point MMC Kunene was dealing with the issue. He got a lot of backlash and he was taken to court for dealing with an unsafe hijack city that is non-compliant. That's what I'm saying. There are some certain NGOs that are hell-bent on preventing the city from dealing with it. it. It needs decisive action and there will be casualties, but let there be no death. Let us have casualties of reallocating people to proper housing. But if we have to then succumb to the pressure because we are taken to court, there are court orders, we can't move, etc. And then something like this happens. So the city as well, the mayor will explain what they are doing about it because it falls in the executives. I know because it affects the citizens, it affects lives, and we are very, very certain by what has happened today. Truly, truly a tragedy. And I don't care whether it was an illegal foreigner who was here or a local etc a life is a life and all of us yes have a responsibility to uphold the integrity the dignity of a life and as a city of Johannesburg we'll do any, everything that we can to support those that are left behind to help the families to bury those that need assistance and also counseling and, and all other sort of assistance that will you know we will understand as the day unfolds what is required